Hello, this is Ms. Pat from San Luis Public Library. Today in Science Scouts, we're going to talk about um, energy, potential, and kinetic. And we're going to talk about how you can use wind to make energy to make things move. So our story today is going to be Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day by A.A. A. Milne. Winnie the Pooh, or Pooh for short, lives with his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. One very blustery day, when the winds decided to stir things up, Pooh went to visit his thinking spot. As Pooh sat there, trying hard to think of something, up popped his friend Gopher. Say, Pooh, if I were you, I'd think about skedaddling out of here. It's Wednesday, see? Pooh thought that sounded like a lot of fun. Then I think I shall wish everyone a happy Wednesday, and I will begin with my dear friend Piglet. The wind was blowing very hard as Pooh neared Piglet's house. Happy Wednesday, Wednesday Piglet. I see you're sweeping leaves. Y -y yes, Pooh, but it's hard. This is a very unfriendly wind. Just then, a big gust blew Piglet up into the air. Pooh watched in surprise. Where are you going, Piglet? I don't know, Pooh. Oh, dear. Pooh tried to help, but when he grabbed Piglet's sweater, it began to unravel. Piglet flew like a kite over the countryside, with Pooh dragging behind. The two went right through Eeyore's house and Rabbit's carrot patch. Then with the blusteriest, gustiest gust of all, Piglet and Pooh were blown right up to Owl's house in a tall tree. Pooh, Piglet, this is a special treat. I so rarely get visitors up here. Do come in. Owl opened his windows and in blew Pooh and Piglet. The wind blew harder and harder until finally Owl's tree along with his house, crashed to the ground. Everyone from the Hundred Acre Wood came to help, but only gloomy old Eeyore seemed to know what to do. If you ask me, and nobody has, I say when a house looks like that, it's time to find another. A thankless job, but I'll find a new one for him. And off he plodded. Finally, the blustery day turned into a blustery night. To Pooh, it was an uncomfortable night of uncomfortable noises. And one of those noises was a sound he had never heard before. Growl! Pooh got up and went to his door to investigate. Hello out there, and I hope nobody answers. Just then, a funny looking animal bounced into the room. Oh. I am Tigger, T-I double girl girl. Pooh put down his pop gun. You scared me. Sure I did, everybody's scared of Tiggers. What's a Tigger? Glad you brought that up, chub. And then Tigger bounced around the room to show Pooh what a Tigger was. Tigger stopped bouncing. Did I say I was hungry? Not for honey, I hope. Yuck, Tiggers don't like that icky sticky stuff. Well, I better be bouncing along. TGFN, ta-ta for now. The wind continued to blow. There was a clap of thunder and it began to rain. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained. By morning, the hundred acre wood was flooded. Pooh tried to rescue his honey by eating it all for breakfast. He was upside down licking the bottom of the last pot when the water floated him right out his front door. At Piglet's house, the water was coming in through the window. He wrote a message and put it into a bottle. The message read, help, Piglet, me. The bottle floated out of his house and out of sight. Christopher Robin lived high on a hill where the water couldn't reach. So that was where everyone from the Hundred Acre Wood gathered. 
Before long, Christopher Robin got, uh, discovered Piglet's bottle and read the message. Owl, fly over to Piglet's house and tell him we'll plan a rescue. As Owl flew over the flood, he spotted two tiny objects below. One was Piglet standing on a chair and the other was Pooh still upside down in his honey pot. Owl called down to them and told them of the rescue. Be brave, little piglet. But thank you, Owl, but it's awfully hard to be brave when you're such a small animal. Pooh and Piglet eventually floated to the very spot where Christopher Robin was waiting. Pooh, you rescued Piglet. That was a very brave thing to do. You are a hero. I am? Yes, and I shall give you a hero party. Just as the hero party began, Eeyore arrived with news. I found a house for Owl. If you want to follow me, I'll show it to you. Eeyore led them through the woods and to everyone's surprise, stopped in front of Piglet's house. This is it. Pooh tried to convince Piglet to speak up. No, Pooh, th th this house belongs to our good friend Owl. I shall live. I shall live. You shall live with me, Pooh said, putting his arms around his little friend. Christopher Robin was especially proud. That was a very grand thing to do, Piglet, giving your house to Owl. And so the one hero party became a two hero party. Pooh was a hero for saving Piglet's life. And Piglet was a hero for giving Owl his grand home in the beech tree. Okay. So we've talked a little bit in the past about um, potential and kinetic energy. And potential energy is the energy that's stored up. So when you guys are just sitting there, like when you're when they're getting ready to say on your mark, get set. Before they say go, that's potential. You're getting ready. All that energy is stored up. Okay. And then as soon as they say go, you move. That's going to be your kinetic energy. Okay. So potential energy can turn into kin kinetic. And this one shows you the balloon. And we've all blown up a balloon and we let it go and it goes all over the place. Okay. So in this case, hopefully, we're going to build a car. We don't want it to go all over the place, it's not supposed to be an airplane. All right, but the kinetic energy is the release of the energy. In this case, it leaves out the back end of the balloon, right? And if it goes out the back end, that means the balloon's gonna move forward, right? So in this case, this purple balloon, the energy is going out here, it's gonna move in this direction. And we've also talked about Newton's laws in the past, although if you haven't seen any of the ones in the past. So Newton's third law states for every action, there's an equal, but opposite reaction. Okay, so again, if we have a lot of energy go out this way, it's gonna have a lot of movement this direction. In this case, these guys are pushing each other and they're both standing on skateboards. Okay, so they're both pushing and if they both push, they're both gonna move and they're gonna move about the same. Okay, because they look like they're about the same size and the same build, okay? One's not bigger than the other one. And so if they both push, they're both gonna move about the same distance because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So again, depends on how much you blow up your balloon. If you only blow it up a little bit, your car's only gonna move a little bit. Okay, you blow it up really, really big, it's gonna move a lot further. So what we're gonna build today is a nice, simple car, okay? You're gonna get a piece of cardboard when you come in. You're gonna get a balloon. You're gonna get four tops. You're gonna get some straws. You're gonna to have to provide the tape. Can't send the tape home. Okay. So what we're gonna do Okay, you're gonna get a piece of cardboard. Okay. Tape on two shores. And I'm looking at mine and mine looks a little crooked right now. So he may or may not go very well because he's definitely definitely a little lopsided, but I tape on the big straws, right? The fat straws, because then I'm going to put these little straws through, right? They're kind of stirs. They're not really straws. Nobody really wants to drink out of these little itty bitty things, okay? But you're going to put that through, 
because they move real nice. And you're gonna have four bottle caps and they have holes in them. Now, if you wanna put them the other way, that's fine. All right, so that the hole is on the inside. Now I gave you this outside, I went this way because what I want to do is in your bag, you're gonna get these four little pieces of clay. And the reason I'm giving you the clay is just in case the holes are a little too big, okay? So you can always put these on the end of your tires. Whoops, and I gotta hold it. And that way he won't fall off. You see, they're kind of really, right now they're still really tight. Maybe if you run them a couple times, they'll get loose, but they're really tight. But I can put them on the end. You could put some glue on the end if you got hot glue. You could put some tape on the end if you don't want the, the, to use the clay, okay? But you're gonna have little pieces of clay that you can put on the end. Now, on the other side, and that's gonna be the bottom. On the top part, you can color it however you want. You can draw a little person there. You can draw your little hearts, rainbow, animals. You could even glue a little person up on top. I would say little person, okay? Um, maybe a Lego man or something like that. I would not glue a stuffed animal on here because these are not very high cars. You're gonna take one more straw. You're gonna take the really fat one. Well, one of the fat ones because you're gonna have quite a few of these ones. You're gonna have a fat one. And you are gonna glue it, uh, not glue it, you're gonna tape it to the balloon, okay? And you have to make sure that you get it really kind of tight around there. And then you're gonna tape it to the top of the car. The reason being, when I go like this, now I have to hold it here. And the reason is if I don't, you can hear it. Okay, the air's coming out, you can see it getting smaller. Okay, so I have to hold it and I have to hold it where the tape, right here is where the end of my straw is. You can see that. So. Okay, and we're gonna put him down. I'm gonna move this computer down to the floor so you can actually see him move. Okay, across the floor. Back here, my thing is blowing up, I'm holding it. I'm gonna let it go. Kinetic energy is gonna come out here and he should hopefully go forward. Now remember, my wheels were a little crooked because I didn't tape that thing on very well. Right, and it was kind of lopsided. So he kind of made a right hand turn. But this is what you guys can do, kind of play with it. You can move the wheels forward and backward. You could put some weights on it and see if it'll turn one way or the other. You could blow the balloon up a little bit or a lot and see if that changes anything. All right, so have some fun with it. Maybe send me some pictures. Take care, see you guys next week.